in class now we can study our next book that is geography of class 7 before I start my chapter I want to discuss the name of the book or the name of the subject that is geography the meaning of geography is derived from the two words which is included in the geography only that is geo means earth and graphy means study together it means study of earth interior or exterior is known as geography getting my point good now the first chapter is environment here and there was one student that is Ravi and after a long vacation he come back to the school and he sees uh, that there was one playground near to his school now which is which is now used for other purposes and this make him very sad and he share his feeling with the classmates in the assembly the principal to point so principals to sadly observe see how our environment is changing then Ravi asked his teacher ma'am what is environment yes so ma'am said whatever you see or whatever surrounds you is known as environment for that Ravi gave an example so ma'am our school building table chair friends garbage road are all the part of environment teacher said yes not only these things but the nature which is created for us that is mountain river trees animals are also a part of environment see this blue box which is given here and which give you a sort of which also give you a sort of definition of your environment see okay so environment is our basic life support system it provides the air we breathe the water we drink the food we eat and the land where we live so whatever makes us survive or whatever supports our system of life is known as environment now next is ma'am given an example that now you just find a changes that uh, how our environment is changing this question is again asked by some student to the class and one of the friend said it's all because of our needs yes when human is a social animal and due to this whenever it needed a needed a change or whatever whenever it needs something which makes their life easy and simple it directly or indirectly depend on nature yes or no So why, uh, why our environment is changing is here increasing day by day we are therefore modifying and at time even destroying our natural surroundings the teacher replied yes whenever we need something whenever we demand something from the nature we directly or indirectly harm our environment for example um, we, we take a river okay now what we do we 
want to collect the water and due to this our precious aquatic life which is very much freely or very much easily live in the running water that is river water is now be uh, is now being isolated or occupied in only one set of group okay now next topic is component of environment what are the things which make our environment so first is your nature okay first is your nature first is your natural okay human made and humans so three things that are the components of environment okay we will take it one by one natural natural is simply which is created by the nature or which we call as a nature like water air land and living things in geography we uses the term for water hydrosphere atmosphere for air lithosphere for land and living thing for biosphere we will study about this in detail same in this chapter human humans okay the next component is human so there is two thing that is human and human made don't be confused with this human uh, is simply the abstract thing that is emotional thing that connected thing that social thing because human is a social animal so he must have his uh, society or family individual community religious education from where he day to day interact getting my point okay now the third component is human made see the component is very easy that is human made whatever the man has made so buildings park bridges roads industries and monuments were made by humans now how it is created suppose i want to make a bridge so i need a brick iron cement so from where i will get these things again from environment yes or no from land i will get a brick uh, related materials or a raw materials okay again iron from land only so these are the thing which are interrelatedly connected understood okay there will be one confusion that ma'am how human will connected with the environment suppose human have a need if he want to survive he will need something to be survived so he directly connected with the environment that is your natural environment now coming to the definition of environment so definition of environment is here just look at it i am marking it with the pen see the place people things and natural that surrounds any living organism is called environment in this it is a combination of natural and human made phenomena till here is the definition of environment phenomena and due to this you have a inter interconnectivity with the human thing and the natural environment okay now what is the natural environment natural environment refers to both biotic and abiotic conditions existing on the earth so natural environment which are there which are there in the environment okay so 
which are the combination of the two that is biotic and abiotic biotic biotic the world of living organisms plant and animals in simple word i will tell you biotic which having a life so your plant and animals human being is also a part of this so biotic and component and second is your abiotic abiotic the world of non living element is known as abiotic suppose your land air water understood now coming to the next page here your next page and here you will again study about human environment okay we have discussed in the previous page what is natural environment is a combination of or interconnection between biotic and abiotic on the earth surface is known as your natural environment human environment reveals the activity creation and interaction among human beings understood so it is just an activity and a creation which is uh, having day to day life okay with the environment all right now continuously we using the word environment so what is environment environment word is a origin from a french word that is environ environ or environ meaning neighborhood so whatever surrounds you or whatever in your surrounding is your environment so coming to the natural environment land water plant and animal comprises the natural environment so these are your natural environment which are existing on the earth dear before then nobody is there so it is a natural creation man have man have no interference in this so it is a natural creation understood so in class 6 you have studied the four thing that is lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere okay and now we will discuss it in a brief or in a detail way so one first is lithosphere okay in your previous class that is class 6 you have studied about the mesolithic paleolithic remember in history okay so what is mesolithic mesolithic i told you meso means middle and lithic means rock so the word lithic where whenever it come it simply means a rock so the the sphere is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth it is made up of rock and mineral and covered by a thin layer of soil so how this soil is created suppose you have your one second suppose you have your earth okay and there you have your there you have your mountains plateaus all right mountains plateaus and when these things were eroded or when these things were weathered it turned into your soil which cover your top most layer of the surface that is your crust and what are the things which are included in the lithosphere are mountains plateaus plain valleys etc land forms are found over the continent and also on the ocean floor 
यस yes. आपके माउंटेन के ऊपर आई एम सॉरी आपके लैंड के ऊपर माउंटेन्स हैं और रिवर या ओशन के नीचे भी आपको कुछ ओशन फ्लोर्स दिखते हैं लिथोस्फेयर इज द डोमेन दैट प्रोवाइड्स अस फॉरेस्ट ग्रासलैंड्स फॉर ग्रेजिंग लैंड फॉर एग्रीकल्चर एंड ह्यूमन सेटल इट इज आल्सो अ सोर्स ऑफ मिनरल वेल्थ यस सो लैंड प्रोवाइड यू अ गुड एग्रीकल्चरल विच हेल्प यू टू बी सर्वाइव ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ नाउ दिस इज योर लेथोस्फियर सी हेयर in this where you have a land where you have a uh, where you have your this vegetation is going on understood these are the domains of the earth lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere now coming to the second one that is your hydrosphere okay hydro hydro means water and sphere means the layer so the layer which uh, which having a water is known as hydrosphere so in on the earth surface you have a lot of source of water and a different type of water bodies like river lakes seas oceans etc and it is very essential for our living organisms and the third most is your atmosphere again atmosphere is the thin layer of air that surrounds your earth that surrounds your earth like this so it is just like a blanket which protect you from the harmful rays of the sun i'm sorry my son is not so good all right so the gravitational force of the earth holds the atmosphere around it and it protect us from the ultraviolet radiation and other radiation from the space understood so it uh, protect us from harmful rays and scorching heat heat of the sun okay second it consists of okay this atmosphere what are the things it consists that it consists of gases it consists of gases water vapors that changes in the atmosphere produce changes in the weather and climate and we have discussed in the previous class what is weather and what is climate please remember it plus what is biosphere okay where the plant and animal kingdom together make or living world this is known as your biosphere in a simple way of definition of biosphere is it is a narrow zone of the earth where land water and air interact with each other to support life so see this this is the small diagram of a you say a flow chart which tell you about uh, what is uh, biosphere and it will make you understand what is biosphere suppose this is your water this is your land that is your lithosphere and this is your atmosphere okay i am using a different color so you will be easy for remember it so blue one is your water brown is for lithosphere and the black one is for your atmosphere the yellow the the middle one 
that is narrow zone is your biosphere where the three domain have the interaction where the three domain interact that place where the life is possible where life or life supporting things were available or a plant animal kingdom survive with the help of land water and air is known as biosphere okay it can be anywhere it can be anywhere that is simply means where these three things interact understood for example your earth okay now coming to the what is ecosystem okay here is one story which is given here at an ncc uh, camp that ravi's class was attending this explained what a heavy downpour it reminds me of my home in kerala you should come and see how it pours and pours and pours over the lush green fields and coconut plantation so there is one person or a, one student who is telling about uh, in kerala we always have a rainfall so plantation of uh, things were very very intense and coconut plantation is in very much there and there is other two student which are also explaining that we get no rains in jaisalmer and we see only kikar and sand as far as the eyes can see so dur dur tak aapko sirf aur sirf sand dikhte hain agar jaisalmer ki baat ki jaye to do jagah ki baat ki gayi hai aur dono jagah ka jo ecosystem hai wo thoda sa alag bataya gaya hai understand okay coming to the what is ecosystem okay it is a system formed by the interaction of all living organisms with each other and with the physical and chemical factor of environment in which they live all linked by the transfer of energy and materials okay to understand what is ecosystem just look at this picture see this is one ecosystem which is made by a student a pond ecosystem so here there is a i am using a pen to explain you see this is your water body when it reaches to the land it make the land moisture due to this your grasslands grow when the grasslands grow the animals come here to eat and to drink this water yes or no and due to this the transfer of energy will available suppose water is here the duck will there understood and duck is there the small animals will come here and these ducks will eat your small insects deer also come here then other animals will also come here then there is a transfer of energy what is transfer of energy suppose these grasses were grazed by cow or deer and deer will eaten by a lion so whatever the energy or a transfer of energy is like this a plant is eaten by a deer and deer is eaten by a lion so the energy which transfer here is like this only understood now coming to this here there is one good thing is written there the world environment day is celebrated on 5th january okay please do remember it so all the plant and animal human beings depend on their immediate surrounding often they are also interdependent on each other this relation between the living organism as well as the relation between the organisms and their surrounding form an ecosystem so relation with living organism and organism have their own ecosystem so ecosystem might be differ a pond ecosystem a river ecosystem or ocean ecosystem a grassland ecosystem it can be any ecosystem where the transfer of energy is going on 
between each living organisms okay so examples are given here types of ecosystem that is rain forest grassland desert mountains lakes river oceans and a small pond okay now coming to the human environment we have uh, over the natural environment now coming to the human environment human being interact with the environment and modify it according to their own need now modify modify in a positive way but sometime its result might be a negative understood suppose we use a sand or we use a mud for making a pot it is a good modification to cool our water for a summer this is known as modification because you are using a natural environment for your own need okay and when these modification be a negative suppose we are using uh, we are uh, have built uh, industries and these industries have all some wastes and we are indirectly or directly giving back to the environment which which is uh, unfortunately diluting our environment so this is a negative modify modify of our environment so we have to be in a positive way that always be very very careful about whenever we use our environment so here some lines are given here there which discuss that how the human environment is changing day by day first in a early man time the environment was used for agricultural to grow crop domestication and to settle a life then we have invented a wheel from from a stone then we have a surplus food for was produced with the help of the land then we have a barter system emerge okay barter system barter system it is a trade in which goods are exchanged without the use of money at that time barter system is a system where you do not use a money in exchange of one thing you give uh, your uh, something that is in exchange of rice you are giving your pulses in exchange of your um, a uh, goat you are giving a uh, cow so depending upon the uh, nature of that time understood this is known as barter system then trade started we are now in giving or selling our goods commerce development started now we are having a huge bulk of demand and supply industrial revolution started uh, where we have our industries and we have built it a large scale of production then we have a transportation then there is a large production of uh, things or goods it also need a transportation to make it faster and then you have a information revolution and communication easier and speedy across the world then you have a communication of a telephone then you know, computer internet so these are the things which we have used by the environment to modify the environment for our need in a positive sense have you ever thought why you love eating a juicy watermelon in summer and hot roasted peanut in the winter a perfect balance is necessary between the natural and human environment humans must learn to live and use their environment in a harmonious way so this is the reason that we balance our things with the environment so we also take care of the environment to balance it understood so there is one activity small activities which we you do as a homework let's do okay you have to ask me with your neighborhood or a people elderly people that uh, what are these four points okay and write your answers in your rough copy i will see in your whenever the your school open, reopens okay here your chapter is finished now coming to the question answer and we will i will provide you the question answers in this only and uh, here you will do first you will do terms understood then question answer fill ups in your classwork copy 
and I will provide you a PDF file. Please do write in your class for copy. Thank you class.